This simple setup will unlock all the Tesla data that you can think of. Welcome back to the Cobra Pit, whether you're a long time viewer or a newest subscriber like William Anzueto. I see you. I appreciate every single one of you. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. So I've been asked to review many Model 3 and Model Y instrument clusters and dashboard screens and things of that nature, but I have always declined. And here's why. The info is redundant to what you already see on your main display. Installation always looks invasive and difficult and all are ugly. <laughs> For real, I, I don't like how any of them look. So Test Logic has none of these issues. When they reached out to me to review this product, I did some research and I said, finally, finally, something different and useful. As far as information goes, Test Logic lets you see info that you can't find on your main display. With my favorite being the energy screen that shows detailed info on how different vehicle systems use power. You'll see things like which motor is being used and when. You'll see how much energy the climate control, heated seats, and other things in the car use. It even shows when your battery is heating in preparation for supercharging. And it also shows when the battery is regenerating. Like, this is kind of cool. You'll see all these different things that you would never see otherwise. I also like using a low vision mode so that the font is enlarged. The speedometer is nice and big with colored indicators all around it. When you start speeding, it turns red. Autopilot is highlighted as well. This is all very cool. Now keep in mind if you get notifications, they'll still pop up on your phone. And if you play music through your phone, there's no interruption. So they work hand in hand. But even cooler is the fact that you have a green indicator when signaling. And if there's a vehicle in your blind spot, it turns red. How many other cars out there have like, you know, indicators on their uh, side mirrors? Tesla doesn't, right? Or at least not yet. But this is right in front of you. You can see. You should always check your blind spots anyway, but it's good to have this heads up before you even look. There's so much more info and you can use the scroll wheel to scroll through the screens. First, I'll show you the install. I'll show you what it's like to actually use it and all the information that you can learn. All right, now it's time to really geek out with our Tesla. So this little device right here from Test Logic will give you the access to so much information about your car, so much data that you can use to your advantage to learn how to drive better, to save your battery, and so much more. We're going to demonstrate all those things, but let's show you how to install it. First of all, it comes with the test logic transmitter it comes with a mount it comes with a connector this little tool is so crucial to so many things especially with your tesla just removing different parts of it and it comes with adhesives and other things that will come into play okay so don't be alarmed i've removed many parts of my car that may seem scary but um it's not that scary. Once you've done it uh, once or twice, you realize it's not the biggest thing in the world. So we need to remove, open up all this trim right here and to start doing that, we're going to start by removing right up here and you can just pull this apart. Just like that. See that? Just, you just pull it out of your way. No big deal, it'll go back in easily. So you just remove it just like this all the way down because you need to get all the way to this part right here. Make sure you turn off the car. It's like this part needs to pop out. Let's see here. Now it sounded like it broke, it didn't break, <laughs> it didn't break, it sounded like it, but it did not break. Now you see it just came out of this part right here and up from here and it'll go back in easily. Same thing here, you want to remove all this and pop this off to right here. Alright, if you look closely you'll see. There's a little 
part to remove popped off. And you remove that. Don't lose these little pieces. You'll need them, obviously, to put everything back. And then you just remove this whole area, right? Just like that. You see how easily that is removed. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this carpet. Take this piece right here, pop it out. <clears throat> Remove it. Don't lose it. And then move this carpet back and you'll see it. Everything you need. Can y'all see all that? Can y'all see all that? Okay. So here's the connector. And all you need to do now is hold that back. All you need to do is take this out. Take this out. Put it in here. Just like this, let me remove it out. Then it's gonna go in this new one. Make sure you put it in right. Just make sure. All right, make sure that's in, boom. Then you reconnect it here. And then this part right here, on all the directions, it says connect it to the blue one on the inside. But if you see, I don't have a blue one, but I have a white one. So I don't know if they changed the color on purpose or what, but I'm gonna go ahead and stick it into the white one. I don't want to mess with that red cable because it's red, right? It's red, so I don't want to mess with red. All right, go underneath it probably. Probably right underneath it. Oh, yeah, that's easier. And get this in. Oh, that's better. Okay. Bam, plugged in. See that? Can you see that? Plugged in. All right, now this piece goes to the adapter the transmitter the brains all right here we go take it plug it in here and before i do anything else before i put anything away i'm gonna check it on the app so it looks like the app is working says my range okay so i know this is all good so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna uh tighten everything back up the, in the opposite order. Basically, that's where we are right now. 82%, 82%, that all checks out. Um, taking a look at, right now, the only thing working are my lights. So if I turn on the air, let's see what happens. Okay, the air comes on. Let's see if the energy goes to my climate. See it's raising, it's coming up. Yep, there it is. There it is. All right, and seat heaters. Let's turn that on. And let's see. Okay, I turned on my heat seat heaters. There it is, you'll see it right there. Sorry it's loud, I know it's loud, but it is what it is. Right, turn that off. Some more data, it tells you the VIN, the color, the odometer, tells you the birthday, the birthday, um, September 5th, 2023. And I got it a little bit um, a month after that. So dang, pretty cool. Um, tells you about the car, hardware four. Uh, pretty cool, max power. Tells you about the battery. Overall health is great for 10 charge cycles. I mean, good, not great. Um, degradation, 2.8% already, even though it's still in the green. Also see max available capacity. Uh, okay, I see the difference now. Looking at energy, total charge, kilowatt hours, wasted of charge, energy stationary. Maybe that was before I picked up the car, it was just sitting there, but that's 31%. 
safe with regen of driving energy 32 percent that's pretty dope <laughs> um lifetime daily consumption how much i use per day man this is pretty pretty dope information if i go here design theme okay i can change how it looks day and night auto low vision mode large text i think i'm gonna do large text you know i like to have large text large font notifications okay all that's cool mm, and these things i could play with later now let's get down to the oh what is this way so navi okay miscellaneous speed limit warning range Use test logic range calculation. Okay. Show battery temperature near battery widget. And nerd. Yeah, I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd. I'm going to go ahead and enable that. Ooh, debugging it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See, we're getting that real, real. All right, let's move around. Let's see what else we got in here before we get into mounting this thing. Okay, it came with some mounting and charging goodies. So... Here's the mount they have. You see I have a yoke on here, but here's the mount they have with 3M and then I will connect the magnet, right? Boom. And I'll show you here on my phone, right? It will connect like that, uh, right? Um, and this is in case you have a non-MagSafe phone. And it will go about right here. So this will be stuck on that. And then it would go about right here, right? And with the yoke, oh, that's pretty good location, right? Pretty good location. And just to be honest, I love this mount I have right here, right? I love this mount. Boom. And that's in the perfect spot for me. And it goes into the vent. So I'm kind of torn. I do want to try this one out. It actually sits in a perfect spot too, but I just like, you know, once I have this one on, it's going to stay there. I just like the flexibility of this one. I can move it around. I can move to the side, right? So I'm going to stick with this one for now. Um, links to everything in the description, but, but with that charger, right? So they came with a charger and it's a wireless charger. And of course, this is going to be max safe too right max safe i'm wondering huh i'm wondering if i could like with your with this one you'll just you'll just fish it through and they'll come here right pretty clean i do want it charged while it's up here so i'm wondering if i can maybe stick this to this right i can have it up there stuck and then just fish the wires down and back. Um, I'm going to have to play with that for a while and see what I can do. Because I might be able to. Man, I don't even know yet. I don't even know yet. Ugh. But you guys are figuring this out with me. Same, same time. I'm trying to figure out the best thing. Hmm. Cause that'll go there this will go here right but if i can get a charge here maybe i can use some adhesive and stick it on here and then same thing run the wires down right but i'm going to take it for a ride now and check it out check out the app so bam it's there right it's right there with my yoke here See that perfect location for it? See that perfect spot for it? Okay, let's see what's up. All right, so I'm checking this out. I'm signaling. Look, y'all see that? Y'all see that? I'm signaling. And the green is showing me. It's, it's, it's my turn signal right there, right? It's my turn signal. Ooh. I'm gonna have to lower that. That's my turn signal. And we still rolling, right? We still rolling. But there's a few other cool things. Now, I love having a huge speedometer right there. That's pretty dope. I can't lie. That. I can't lie. It's telling me the speed limit, right? The speed limit. We still rolling. 
Alright. If I hit autopilot, the whole thing turns blue, right? The whole thing turns blue. I like that. So let's see, I'm gonna change lanes right here. It's a car. Look, he's not in my blind spot yet. Now he's in my blind spot, and now it's red. You guys see that? It's red. It's telling me, don't get over there. Don't get over there. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> it's dope. All right, I'm liking that. This is my favorite, favorite screen right here. I like keeping it on this one. Um, it's green when you're accelerating. There it is. It tells you the maximum speed, right? And this is perfect line of sight. This is exactly, I'm holding the GoPro up closer to my line of sight. And this is what you will see. Now, if I want to scroll over, I just hit the scroll wheel and check that out now. So now it's telling me the rear motor is being used. And watch when I accelerate, you're going to see both motors. Look at that. So now it's pulling, right? It's pulling and pushing the rear motor and the front motor. I got my climate on that's going I got my other things going on in here could be the screen right different things of that nature so basically this is the main setup the main thing I have going on I like these two screens there it is there it is beautiful love it still gives you average speed speed limit there all the pertinent most pertinent information is right there and like i said if you want to listen to your music and notifications still come in all that is still good and i like that i like that you saw that autopilot warning it was huge right it was huge sometimes i miss it sometimes i miss it on the screen to my right i'm like oh until it's too late then beep, beep, beep. but right now it was it was large it was blue and it's really helpful, and, I, and and one of the things I really like is I can just take this off. It's my phone. I can just take it off whenever I get somewhere, whenever I want to. Look at that, apply force and steering right in front of my face. All right, so I can just take this off, remove it, and it looks clean. It's not just always sitting there. I don't know, man. This is something that's really up my alley. Finally, a dashboard display that fits my needs, gives me something extra, and something I appreciate, you know, something I appreciate. So overall, it's a pretty cool product. I like how I can remove it when I want to use my phone, when I don't want to have the dashboard cluttered. I mean, I really like it, and it lets you dig in deeper when you want to, right? You don't always have to have that information up. My wife loves it as well. She always talks about the speedometer, and to me, it wasn't a big deal having the speedometer on the side, on the main screen, but it is nice having it right in front of you. And with your phone, depending on how clean your phone is, that determines how nice your display looks. Once again, all the links are in the description, and don't forget, Cobra told you. All right, y'all.